pounds of surfing. It's one of the heaviest places in the world, both in the water and, and on land. Just the energy of the ocean colliding with this coastline is crazy. You can just feel it in the air. Red Bull rented this amazing house at Off the Wall, just across from Back Door and Pipeline. It's pretty amazing because you're here right on the proving grounds and you know, some of the best waves on the planet are coming through. You know, this is the crown jewel of surfing. It's, everyone wants an incredible wave out here, so there's a lot of scrapping going on. It's the most competitive lineup in surfing. I mean, it's crazy. We're at the, you know, the 20 yard line watching one of the heaviest, most deadly waves in the world break. And it gets you just so pumped to go out there and want to get a piece of it yourself. I think I'm going to go out and off the wall here in a couple minutes and uh, try to get a few. It's one of those sessions and places where when you paddle out, you have to be very selective and you may only get one or two waves in an hour, but those one or two waves could be the best waves of your trip, the best wave of your life. So it really just depends on you know, the, uh, the day and the wave. You gotta just put your time in and that's what I'm doing here on the North Shore of Oahu right now, is just trying to put my time in. Um, and everyone has to do it. It's like surfing, when you first start, you basically have to go through the motions and be a complete novice and gain experience. And the only way to do that is to spend time in the water. And the only way to become a really good pipeline surfer, a really good North Shore surfer, is to just sit out there, get really destroyed by waves, and occasionally get spat out of a good barrel. Wow, it's too west though, so it's coming basically out of the westerly direction. It's just gonna wall out and close out. That's what makes off the wall so crazy is that it's close out, close out, close out, and then a perfect A-frame gem. You just gotta find your position. It's crazy because that's a good left right there, but where it goes through is this ain't section because it's called ain't right there because it, it ain't off the wall and it ain't back door. And the reef gets kind of funky there, so it'll clamp. So even, no matter how good those waves look, you may just absolutely get destroyed by it if you go. Occasionally it'll work out, but most of the time you want to focus either off the wall, back door, or pipe. Waves look so good, I gotta just get my hand in a couple. So this is our little boardroom here at the Red Bull house um, at Off The Wall. Sharing it with uh, Ian Walsh, Cristobal De Cole, he's a Peruvian guy. Known those guys forever. Ian's the, uh, you know, good example for all of Maui guys. He's probably one of the most successful surfers to come out of Maui. He is uh, the man. But um, these are all of Ian's boards. This is what he was using in the Vulcan Pipe Pro and uh, his typical boards. Right now I'm going to off the wall. I have, you know, this is a 6.5 and the waves are kind of declining so I think I'm gonna use the 6.5 just kind of standard shape by uh, this guy over here on Oahu named John Parks. Core boards it's called. Um, need a lot of boards on North Shore because you end up breaking pretty much almost all of them. And I've already gone through a few so I wanna make sure that I uh, don't break any more of the magic ones. I usually save these jerry boards for when pipe is just 10 to 12 feet or even six to eight feet and just perfect. Um, this will get you, this has gotten me really fun waves out there. So I'm gonna keep riding those and yeah. I ran out of stickers the other day and I finally just got some new Hurley stickers. So uh, my uh, quick, Drawing skills are being covered by an actual logo. So, here we go. This you just colored that on there? Yeah. Got a couple waves that off the wall. It's 
wind keeps on shifting from really south to west and that makes it kind of chunky. Pretty tricky, but typical off the wall session. You get one and you're stoked and I got one and the rest I kind of just got pounded. <laughs> and now we're going down the other end of the beach. Me and Walsh has his heat in the bulk from Pipe Pro. I'm carrying one of his boards and I'm going to get another look on the waves and trying to figure out which outer reef we're going to hit over here on the North Shore. Waiting for Double D, Derek Dorner to give me a call back. And, you know, while these guys are competing, hopefully we'll be getting some really big waves somewhere. So. Swell's only on the rise, and we're just psyching to uh, get out there. Pretty big out there. Right now, um, waves are still getting bigger, and we're going to go try to find some waves. Lots of options and finally gonna pull the trigger and bring all my boards just about. Um, everything from a, I think like a 7.0 down to a uh, 6.0. Um, and then my kite board, which is also will double as a step off. So maybe do some step off somewhere. So that's kind of the plan right now. Um, hopefully don't break any boards because the waves are really big. Down here at Haleiwa, gonna go for a fun session. It's uh, really west swell and this place likes that. Pretty chunky and lots of current. And gosh, it's gonna be fun. Got a 6.3 JS and a nice warm wetsuit top. It's on. This is Haleiwa Harbor, and right after a fun surf session, ran into Double D, Uncle Derek Dorner, legend extraordinaire, safety man for when I'm out at Jaws, and he has his jet ski. We're gonna launch a ski, and we're gonna do a little tow surf session to cap the day off, going out to what they call Paradise, this wave that's just outside of Haleiwa. Got my kiteboard slash tow board, and gonna try some, you know, flips, and get pounded by some big waves. <laughs> I have this kite board that also is a really good toe and surfboard that I'm gonna use and you know, yeah, it's gonna be super fun. Uh, it's kind of gray skies and a little creepy, but that's what makes these big wave sessions really fun. It's really fun when these things come out of the blue and can make the most of, you know, whatever condition gets thrown at us. Ready to go do a little toe surfing here on the North Shore of Oahu. Here comes a set.
Thank you, Derek. Perfect. Had a good towing session. Worked on some things, and my movie's playing right here at Surf and Sea in Haleiwa. So I'm gonna say hi to everybody, and then we're gonna go go to sleep and do it again tomorrow. <laughs> Oh, this is so you're, sick. You're still barely scratching the surface. Thank you, Hurley. Thanks to you know Hurley for always being there as a sponsor, and you know my parents and my friends and anybody that's believed me, and also you know people who definitely uh, didn't believe me because that actually gave me more motivation. So it's good to have a little resistance in life. Uh, definitely pushes you to go beyond what you think you're capable of, but. It's better to have positivity, so we'll just try to stay positive all the time. <laughs> it's early in the morning here on the North Shore of Oahu pipeline. We're gonna go out for a couple waves. Um, it's so crowded already, but this is a uh, heavy flying up on Earth hoping to scoop a couple and you know, come in safe. It's also one of the deadliest waves on the planet. But. Last night was crazy. We basically went tow and surfing nearly in the dark uh, on the outer reefs with Derek Dorner. Just trying a couple double corks. Landed one single cork and uh, I feel like it's the beginning of a lot of exciting things in the future. out there the hardest lineup in the world but when I went down to gums which is the next wave over I got a couple little head dips and you know a couple flyaways so that was fun um, can't complain though eventually gonna be in the right spot for a bomb out there ENS six filmers am I depressed that I only have you holding a GoPro no I love our low-key little gig we got going right now we can do uh, strike missions but uh, I mean, I wouldn't say no to it. <laughs> In any of my interviews that you see, if I do a little laugh at the end, it's called Nervous Laughter. There's actually a movie, a big wave movie named after it because at, between Alvy Lair and myself, we're constantly doing a nervous laughter after every sentence. Every time you see a big wave, you're like, that looks so fun. And then you laugh afterwards, you know, like that. <laughs> You know you're really confident when you don't do a nervous laughter at the end. <laughs> it's so big. Look at that off the wall closeout. Later on when it's a little smaller, it could be really good. Oh, the pipeline is going. Oh. Dude, I'm not going out there. I'm going to Gums, the ugly cousin. Super Bowl spread. Hiring pipeline. And Patriots are going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> Dip and flip. Session number three. Everyone's watching the Super Bowl right now. And the Vulcan Piper is about to finish, and pipeline's really good. I haven't been able to catch a wave that I've wanted out there. So I'm hoping. 
hoping in this sort of window, there's an opportunity for me to get a really good one. And you know, by sitting on the couch and watching it, you're never gonna catch a wave. But if you go out there and you sit in the lineup, maybe you have a chance.